The following story originates in Stanley Clisby Arthur's 1937 famous New Orleans, Drinks and How to Mix Them, and for years this was accepted as being a true account as to the origin of the Sazerac cocktail. However, research by cocktail historian David Wondrick suggests the Sazerac actually originated as a bottled whiskey cocktail sold by the Sazerac company. However, never let the truth stand in the way of a good story. Brandy-based cocktails were being served in New Orleans before the Sazerac was created and these early mixed drinks almost certainly included bitters, possibly Stoughton's bitters, a long-extinct medicinal stomach bitters. The ingredients for the Sazerac have varied over the years, however, its flavor has remained distinctive due to one essential ingredient, Peychaud's aromatic bitters, created by one Antoine Amidi Peychaud. His story starts in 1795 when he arrives in New Orleans as a refugee after his father was forced to flee the island of San Domingo, and his family's coffee plantation, after the slaves rebelled. Antoine grew up to become a pharmacist and bought his own drug and apothecary store at 437 Rue Royale, then no. 123 Royal Street, in 1834. Here he created an American aromatic bitter cordial and marketed it as a medicinal tonic. Such potions were fashionable at the time and there were many similar products. Antoine also served his bitters mixed with brandy and other liquors and it has been falsely claimed that the word cocktail originated with Antoine and the measure, known as a cocketeer, he used to prepare drinks. However, the term cocktail first appeared in print in an upstate New York newspaper in 1806 when Antoine was just a child. Meanwhile, sometime around 1850, Sewell T. Taylor, another New Orleans entrepreneur gave up being a bar owner to move into the liquor business, becoming the local agent for a French cognac company, Sazerac du Forge A. Fils of Limoges. His bar, the Merchants Exchange Coffee House at 13 Exchange Alley, was taken over by either Aaron Bird or John B. Schiller. Exchange Alley used to run between Royal Street and Exchange Place in the French Quarter where the Wyndham Hotel now stands. A service road under the hotel still links the two streets. It is here, at the Exchange Coffee House, sometime between 1850 and 1859, that the Sazerac cocktail was created, based on and named after Taylor's Sazerac cognac with Peychaud's aromatic bitters and sugar. The cocktail became the bar's main specialty. In 1869-70, Thomas H. Handy, the bar's bookkeeper, took over the Exchange Coffee House and renamed it the Sazerac Coffee House after its house cocktail. Meanwhile Antoine Peychaud fell upon hard times and sold his pharmacy store, along with the formula and brand name of his bitters which Handy acquired in 1873. Having purchased the bar and the bitters required to make its house cocktail Handy then faced a predicament as cognac, the main ingredient to the Sazerac cocktail, became hard to obtain. The Phylacra aphid, a bug which attacks the roots of vines, devastated French vineyards in the late 1860s to 1870s and so practically halted cognac production, forcing Handy to change the recipe of the Sazerac cocktail. He still used the all-important Peychaud's bitters but substituted American distilled Maryland Club rye whiskey, retaining a dash of cognac. Around this time, perhaps before the change to rye whiskey, a splash of the newly fashionable absinthe was added to the Sazerac. As the cognac became more scarce, so it gradually disappeared from the drink. To quote from Stanley Clisby Arthur's 1937 famous New Orleans drinks and how to mix them, the absinthe innovation has been credited to Leon Lamoth who in 1858 was a bartender for Emile Seignoiré, Charles Caverock & Co., a wine importing firm located in the old Seignoiré mansion still standing at 520 Royal Street. More likely it was about 1870, when Lamoth was employed at Pina's restaurant in Burgundy Street that he experimented with absinthe and made the Sazerac what it is today. Before his death in 1889, Handy disclosed the recipe for his house cocktail to William T. Cocktail Bill Boothby who published it in his 1908 book, The World's Drinks and How to Mix Them, Sazerac 3 quarters jigger whiskey 2 dashes peixo absintheto wet glass 1 half spoon sugar syrup 1 slice lemon peel. 
In the 1890s, the Sazerac company began to bottle and market the Sazerac cocktail, now made with rye whiskey instead of cognac. The cocktail, which continued to be served at the Sazerac bar was further adapted in 1912 when absinthe was banned in the US. The Sazerac company started to produce a product called Herb Saint as an absinthe substitute and although absinthe is once again legal in the USA, most bars in New Orleans continue to make their Sazerac cocktails with Herb Saint rather than absinthe. The Sazerac bar reopened after prohibition at 300 Carondelet Street. In 1949, Seymour Weiss, the vice president and managing director of the nearby Roosevelt Hotel purchased the rights to use the name Sazerac Bar from the Sazerac Company. He renovated a former wine and spirits store on Baron Street and on 26 September 1949 opened the new Sazerac Bar. In 1959, the Sazerac Bar on Baron Street was closed and the name transferred to the hotel's main bar which had opened in 1938. Here the Sazerac Bar remains popular and can be considered the spiritual and actual home of the Sazerac with around 40,000 Sazeracs served there every year.